Hi, I'm Joe. Welcome to the channel where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today, I am at the Terra Cafe headquarters, and this is the brand new Terra Cafe TK02. We are going to do a little overview, so some first impressions. It's not a full review. This is a pre-production unit. I want to make everyone totally understand that this is not the one that will be shipped to you. This is, you know, a little, a little before that. So. Let me fill up the water, fill up the beans, turn it on, and let's get started. All right, so we got everything set up. We got beans in the hopper. We got water in the water tank, turned it on. Beautiful startup screen, liking that a lot. I have the app right here. Gonna go ahead and make my first drink. If I jump in here, we go to the espresso. And it just starts to brew, which is kind of amazing. You just sort of hit a button on your phone and it starts to go. I think that option is great, especially if you put a cup there the morning before or something like that. So it's really cool. Uh, while this is brewing, let me just talk a little bit about the build quality things that I personally love a lot. I love that the uh, spout handle is made of stainless steel and it moves up and down. It's got a nice um, range there. And then also we have a stainless steel here on the uh, milk frother, you could easily adjust that. On the previous model, it was behind on the left corner and you could kind of change it, but you had to open it. It's nice that it looks beautiful and it feels great when you go to just turn that. And it's got some nice, um, nice clicks to reassure you that everything is working properly and you can kind of make more precise changes. So our first shot of espresso is done. Let's give it a sip. Great. I'm loving it. So I like how simple this is. Um, the interface is uh, so nice. You just go in here, you click a button, and it just starts making your shot. That's the great thing in general about Super Automatics, but I think that Terra Cafe does a wonderful job of making it very streamlined and easy to use. It's very intuitive. Um, and then, you know, you have the app functionality now, so it makes everything kind of very fluid. So let's make another drink. I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, milk frother here and let's pop it in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make a cortado. We have Joe's cortado right here. Going to go ahead and click the button. All right, so as it's getting ready to transition to milk, uh, you can easily adjust how frothy you want the milk. If you want it more of a cappuccino style foam, you just turn this in either direction. Or if you want more of a latte micro foam, again, you just turn this to adjust it how you like it. And you can do that while it is frothing, so that way you can really dial it in the way you like it. And again, I love the feel and, and everything on that uh, dial there as well. Don't be alarmed the first time that that, uh, that, that happens. You might be, but um, that kind of puff of, uh, of air, that's as intended, so don't worry about that. All right, let's go ahead and taste the Cortado. Pretty tasty. I'm a fan. And I like that the foam, the foam's very nice. It's set up pretty nicely. It's not super, super bubbly. It's a nice kind of in-between cappuccino latte which is kind of hard to get on a super automatic machine. So I really appreciate the attention to detail on getting, being able to really dial in the froth on that. All right, so speaking of froth um, and making milk and all, all that stuff, the milk carafe here and basically everything you ever want to do on this machine is basically right in front of, of the machine. You don't really ever have to go to the back and one of the nice features of this, this new unit here is that you can actually push it up pretty close to a wall corner and you don't have to worry about jumping on either side here. You could just get everything from the front. The only thing you have to do behind the machine would be the uh, coffee. So I really like that a lot. I think a lot of people probably are looking for espresso machines to put in you know, maybe specific spots of their, of their kitchen or bar or you know, little spots and stuff like that. So this is a, a really nice option for people that have kind of maybe a little bit of a different space, not quite as open as uh, your, your general setup for uh, different espresso machines. Okay, so let's jump into the settings here. 
And if you click on the little uh, hamburger menu, you can go down. And one of the really cool things here is you're gonna get all of the different levels here. So you have your bean level, waste bin level, water level, drip tray level, Wi-Fi, all that um, fun stuff. So I think that's a really nice feature because I think a lot of people don't wanna wait till their water is completely empty and they can just quickly click on that. Or right from the side, very uh, intuitively designed, you could easily see how much water is in the uh, water tray right there as well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. We're gonna go into the settings. And I just wanna kind of show off some of the different things here. So you, you have your units and you could change those from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit and milliliters. Um, so, and then you have your water hardness setting. So you could change that if you have very hard water, soft water. Um, so that's nice, especially if, you, you know, if you're using RO and you're you know, putting in specific types of minerals and things like that. I know a lot of fun coffee nerds like to do that, so that's always fun. And then if you wanna to go to your drink settings, you can customize a bunch of different drinks here. You have exactly what you want. So if you go to espresso, you can add your shots. So if you want the espresso shots to brew two shots at once, and that's your standard setup, you can click on that. You could do two all the way up to three. If you want to get like real wild, you do three. I mean, I don't know. That's, that's a lot of espresso, but you know, to each their own. And then uh, we can go in and you can go to your espresso profile. Maybe, there we go. And uh, so you can set up different ones, which is really nice. I'm gonna go into the TK default and you can change your dosage your water, your brew temperature, and your grind size. The grind size has four or three settings. It's really nice. And what's nice about it too is you don't really have to think about changing it. This is all done electronically. So before on basically any other espresso machine that's a super automatic you've ever used, or I guess any espresso machine, you have to normally manually change that. This is the first one I've ever seen where you set the setting and it automatically changes it for you. Uh, and then obviously we have your brew temperature. You have 92, 94, and 96 Celsius. So that's obviously nice. If you have darker roast, go a little lower on temperature, lighter roast, higher on temperature. So, you know, I, I like all the different customizations you could make there. And then on your water, you have 40 through 60. So, you know, and too, this is a pre-production unit. So remember all these settings can be adjusted and changed before it comes out, but it's nice to be able to see that even as we stand now, we have a lot of different options. All right, so I showed you a lot of different drinks, showed you some different stuff there. Let me show you a little bit more about this app because I think it's kind of a little bit of one of the more interesting features of this. A lot of espresso machine companies have not done this, and I think this is a really nice implementation of an app. So I'm gonna go on my app here, and I'll show one of the features of, actually you can arrange your drinks here so I'll go ahead and do that. You go ahead and click on the little hamburger menu, go to machine settings, and you go to arrange drinks. So if we look on the screen here, I'll go ahead and move Joe's Cortado up because it's definitely the most important drink. It's got my name in it. So <laughs> it's gonna go ahead, once that uh, updates on this side, I'll hit save changes. And boom, Joe's Cortado is at the very top of the list. So now when I wake up in the morning, want my Cortado, hit the button right there. It's nice. And then uh, one of the other uh, things I really like about the new functionality of the machine in general and the app is that you have an auto wake and sleep. So if you want this machine to wake up maybe 15 minutes before you do, you could uh, set that on the auto wake. And then if you want it to turn off maybe an hour or so after, you go ahead and hit the auto sleep. So I really, really like those functions. Um, it was something that I think a lot of people are really looking for in a machine. And uh, it's one of those things that maybe if you've never had an espresso machine and you get used to using it, it's like, oh, I went, man, I wish I wish this would wake up before I would did and then it would be ready to go. Now you have the option to buy a machine that has that right in the functionality of the machine. So. Let's put that down for a minute and let's talk about some of the magnets again because I love magnets and I love the intuitive uh, nature of some of them just like kind of clicking back. So if you pull this off, this is your um, water. You go ahead and 
just clicks right back in nicely. And then for your grounds uh, bin, you could just pull this up. Make sure you do that. You pull this out. It knows. And then uh, pull this out, and you could dump your coffee. We've been making a lot of coffee, so we got lots of coffee in there. Obviously, it'll automatically tell you if it's full, but we have maybe a little bit more space. I also really like the pucks are nicely formed. They're staying together. That's a sign of, in my opinion, a nicely brewed shot of espresso. All right, throw them out, pop it back in, and again, delightful magnets. Just click right back in. So um, that's kind of all of the, the functionality that I really, really like. Some of the nice touch points and everything that I uh, come to really enjoy this just in my little first impressions uh, of this machine. And before we close out, I do want to show one of the silver bullets of this machine, I think, is we have the drip coffee option. It really, really sets this machine apart. Not, I don't know of any other super automatic espresso machine that's able to make drip coffee. It might say coffee on there, like I did just review the uh, Philips 3200, and it has a coffee button, but it's really not brewing a traditional drip style cup of coffee. It's just pushing water out longer on your cup. And if you do watch that video, uh, I'll, I do mention that it's not really the way I would do it. The, the method that you would want to use for that machine is you'd want to hit the button and then you know, do the Americano because you don't want to keep pu pushing through water at high pressure on a shot of espresso. It really ends up making it a little bit more bitter and over extracted. This is the proper way to make drip coffee. Low pressure over a long period of time and um, you, get, you get a beautiful cup of coffee. And for guests that aren't used to Americanos or, or more espresso based drinks, this is a great, great option. Especially considering you have the uh, dosing uh, you know, funnel over here. You can separately dose coffee. So if you have decaf at late, late at night, you could put it right there and easily make a nice cup of decaf drip coffee. All right, so you got to see my first impressions of the Terra Cafe TK02. You got the black one here, you got to see the white one. And obviously, if you want to pre-order this, you can go ahead and click in the link in the description below. I want to say a very special thank you to the Terra Cafe company, everyone involved being able to let me come out here to get this exclusive first look. It was really, really fun time to just get to meet the team and um, use this machine a little bit. And then also, uh, if you do pre-order it, it's going to come out, um, or I'm sorry, it's going to start shipping in fall of 2023. And obviously, if you like this video, if you want to see more Terra Cafe videos, and if you want to see maybe more super automatics in general, give this video a thumbs up, and we will definitely try to make a lot more of that type of content for you. And if you really love us a lot, subscribe to the channel, and it would help me out a ton. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.